and keep me throwing in. Mm. Welcome to another six can fix video. Today we'll be fixing this 23 Chevy Malibu. Um, we'll be doing a whole suspension change except for the shock. So we'll be changing the control arm, which is this. Then we'll be changing the inner tire right end, which is this. Then the sway bar end links, which is this one here. And the outer tire right end, which is this. So stick around to see how we do it on this 23 Chevy Malibu once again. Okay, first we'll be starting with the tire right end. Just loosen the nut up so it can be easier to get it out. So this is out the tire right end here. First we loose this nut, the same back nut here. As you can see, I already loose it. We used to loose it. We use a 21 wrench right here. Yeah, that loose that right there. <coughs> Next we'll be loosening the nut underneath. There you guys can see it. That's an 18. Need a USA socket or a wrench to get that off. Um, and the best way to do that is while it's still loose this nut up here as well it's still on to the um, spindle so it can be easier to turn you will have some type of resistance to help you break this nut because if it's off if you take this one off first and it's just there flapping it's going to be very hard to get this nut loose so try to lose this nut first so we're going to take that off next common problem with these body joints is um, sometimes when you try to loose them with the nut everything spins that means the nut on the um, crown itself this crown piece here the nut the bolt the threaded bolt piece that the nut goes onto it spins along with the nut so sometimes you have to do according to what style um, uh, ball joint you have you either need to put it's not a socket there on this piece here to hold this while you loose this nut uh, sometimes you have to put a screw uh, next wrench in the back here um, to, hold, to hold it while you try to loosen the nut. So for this one I had to get a smaller R8 uh, to put on the little crown tip right here and I had to get a ratchet to hold it while I try to loosen the nut. That's the problem with some of these uh, ball joints when, you, when you're digging off the, um, the end link. These are tie right ends and even sometimes the ball joint on the, the arm itself. Okay, now that the thyroid end is open and it's free, you can now loose it. Now what you usually should do is either mark this exactly where the shredded is on. Um, you know, one of two things you can do is get a marker or get a piece of paint uh, or you could use tape, anything to uh, mark where this is, right? So when you put the new one on, you, got this, you get the same distance because this is what controls your wheel alignment. What I usually do is I turn, I count the turns. I either count it half turn, which is one, two, or you do a full turn, which is one, two. So I usually do two um, for my uh, uh, liking, but you can choose whichever one is best for you. So you're gonna use a tape. So do the tape, put the tape there where it is now, and then you you, you can lose it, or you, like I said, you can use a marker or makeup or polish anything to mark. It can be seen so when you put the back the one the new one on you know where it is to go but since we're changing both the inner and other thyroids uh, it's best to count next we will be taking out the sway bar and link and the same thing we did for the other thyroid and we're going to do for this which is we're going to use the smaller eight on the crown tip here and then use the wrench on the nut so we can get that loose Okay, this is what I mean, guys. When I um, I was saying use the wrench and the socket, as you can see. Now the the socket is on the thread itself, the tip. So with this, you will actually have to tighten the thread to loose the nut. Okay. And it's loose. Okay, now when taking off the control arm, you're gonna be having, having to loose this nut here, which is 18. These two under here, on this side, and one around here. Also, this one by the ball jack, right there. And the arm should come off, and you can switch it in. I'm gonna use BB. These are 18 nuts. I'm gonna use BB to make quick work of them, so we get along very quickly. It on and she's loose just like that. 
gents, so I'm taking off this the ball joint um underneath for the arm. These two are just not as actually a this both actually is a 17. You're gonna need a wrench on the next side. This is a nut on the next side, which the bolt goes through. We'll loosen this one. And then we're gonna have to take this these off. It should be 17s or 18s. Okay guys, I'm loosening these last two bolts. Make sure. As you can see, I already loose one. There are actually nuts on top as well, so you're gonna need an 18. And you're gonna have to come up in here and hold the nut from up top. Right there. Hold on top of the arm. And there's those two nuts beneath. Okay. Okay, guys, most of the things are already out. Tie right ends, the end links, and the arm. As you can see, this arm is to, that's due for change, like the government. Can you see that? Pushing is gone. Look at that. That needed help. Wow. Now, about now, time to put in the new set, and we should be good to go. And then on to the next side.